Good morning. I am honored to introduce a very special Benjamin alumnus who graduated from the Benjamin School 26 years ago. Yes, that was in 1988, a time where hairdos were wild. Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant competed on the main event on NBC to promote professional wrestling. Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise starred in Rain Man, which later won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Bruce Willis made his first of many Die Hard movies, and one of my favorite actors, Michael Keaton, starred in two films, The Crazy Beetlejuice, and soon after, the first of the Batman movies. So you ask, why all of these references to the movies? Well, in the graduating class of 1988, there was a student I fondly recall as bright, curious, fun-loving, polite, hard-working, and fun-loving, caring, creative, fun-loving, and known to his peers, some of whom are sitting here today as a good and loyal friend. Who knew that 26 years later, he would be honored as our distinguished alumnus, having written screenplays and produced some of the movies you might have already seen. How did this all come about? I'd like to say that the Benjamin experience had a little to do with Mark's success. And when I say the Benjamin experience, I mean the whole Benjamin experience. Like many of you, Mark was a good student who embraced the academics that Benjamin had to offer. He was a National Honor Society member, a National Art Honor Society member, a key club member, a soccer player, but more importantly, what I remember the most about Mark is what he did and how he contributed outside of the classroom. He participated in community service projects such as assisting the elderly at the Waterford Retirement Home. He participated in class activities in and out of school, and he was a part of the infamous conspiracy, a group of crafty teens who livened the daily routine of Benjamin's school life. He had such a quick wit and a joy for life that was contagious, so it doesn't surprise me that his own three children today call him happy, kind, and zany. After graduating from Benjamin, Mark went on to study and graduate from Johns Hopkins University with a degree in international relations. He says that the writing intensive curriculum at Benjamin helped him to succeed in college and beyond. The idea of a 25-page college essay or long nights writing screenplays didn't daunt him because Benjamin gave him the tools he needed for such tasks. He also learned critical thinking skills at Benjamin, which he claims have helped him to survive in a difficult industry. After college, Mark moved to Washington, D.C., where he interned on Capitol Hill with plans to attend law school. But before coming to law school, Mark pursued a dream of his. He enrolled in the University of Southern California and took as many film classes as he could. There, he met another young film student, Damian Shannon, and together they began to work and collaborate on film projects that would lead to a long professional partnership that has produced some amazing and popular films. There is no better way to introduce this alumnus than to let you take a look at some of his work. Friends, warn everyone. Welcome to my nightmare. We're not safe awake or asleep. From the studio that brought you Shrek. Son, you're gonna learn how to be a shark. Hi. A little buddy is stuck there. I'm gonna get you out in a jiffy. On top, there's Don Lino. There's me. There's regular fish. Then there's me. I'm getting there. There's whale poo. And then there's you. What'd you expect? You just take credit for killing a shark and then everything be fine and dandy? Shark Tale. Did you know a young boy drowned here? His name 
name was Jason. It is my true pleasure to introduce, from the class of 1988, our distinguished alumnus, Mark Swift.